This is definitely it. 17 premieres around the world to celebrate the life of Michael Jackson and the comeback tour that never was. In LA, A-listers like Will Smith, Jennifer Lopez, Paula Abdul and Paris Hilton walk the red carpet alongside Michael's brothers. He's my brother. This is, this is, this is who we are. Entertainment. But this is the saddest premiere I've ever been to. Hundreds of fans descended on the city to support their idol, to support his film, the singer who died in August at the age of 50. Even though he's gone, people were sure Michael was there in spirit. This is Tommy Organ, one of the This Is It band. When, when me and my wife walked up in the front, it, it was a big wind twirling, and, and my wife said, that's Michael making a big entrance. <laughs> and he definitely gonna make a big entrance. Closer to home in London's Leicester Square, the screening was in the early hours of the morning, but that didn't stop fans, some of them very young indeed, from turning up. And the celeb count wasn't too bad either. It's just a vote electricity. And all the pop artists in the world have all somehow taken a little bit from Michael. You know, obviously a great performer, but he was a great singer as well, you know? But what did people think of the movie? After all, Jacko's friend, Dame Elizabeth Taylor, called it the most brilliant piece of filmmaking ever. We caught up with these fans after the very first screening in London. It was just outstanding. It showed a side of Michael that I think no one's ever seen. I mean, it says everywhere, the man you, you never knew. The movie was cut from 80 hours of rehearsal footage from Jacko's final days. It opens worldwide for a very limited two-week run.